What's up, guys? It's Ron here. Corporate bankruptcies here in the United States rose by over 30% in the last 12 months alone. And the economy, the American economy as we know it, it's ending, guys. Bankruptcies are exploding across the nation. In fact, business bankruptcies saw a relatively sharp increase for the last year, rising to 17,051 new cases for the year that started that ended September 30th, 2023. Now, this is the fiscal year 2023. Guys, this is wild. Now, the overall pace of bankruptcies is definitely alarming. Uh, definitely some alarming statistics uh, that we have to look at here, guys. Now, something that I, I definitely want to prepare you guys for, there's a lot of change that is happening in our U.S. economy. A lot of people are worried about a potential collapse. I want to make sure that you guys are prepared for what could poss possibly be coming down the pipeline. And if you properly position yourself and your family, not only can you avoid these detrimental circumstances, but you can also be a part of and be on the right side of the wealth transfer. Guys, here in the United States, America, and around the world, because we have a global economy, we are literally in the midst of a massive wealth transfer. And me and my family, we are positioning myself, ourselves, and I want you guys to be able to do so as well. So if you appreciate the content, please do me a favor, take a second, hit the like button for the video, and also consider subscribing. Guys, Shared office company WeWork filed for bankruptcy and they've joined a crowded list of high profile companies to go under uh, just recently. In fact, uh, as 2023 heads toward a close, this is literally the second busiest year in decades in terms of bankruptcies. This is a little bit concerning. So WeWork filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection and this pretty much put a bow on this very dramatic fall from a $47 billion valuation company to well under $50 million in valuation. This is, you want to talk about a wealth transfer? That's $47 billion roughly of wealth evaporating, gone, right? Then, of course, let's not forget about SVB Financial, parent company of the failed Silicon Valley Bank. They filed for bankruptcy in March. They were the second largest company by assets to go bust since 2022. And according to some recent research, uh, crypto-focused Silvergate Capital officially filed for bankruptcy protection that same month, also after months and months and months of very limited uh, operations due to liquidity issues. Guys, liquidity means having the amount of cash and liquid cash on hand or cash equivalent. So cash, U.S. dollars, uh, gold is very liquid as well, um, CDs. Certificates of deposits, uh, stocks, mutual funds, index funds, all of these are very, very liquid assets. Uh, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, um, uh, Ethereum, XRP, Ripple, all of these are highly liquid assets. These companies that went under suffered significant, uh, I would say significant liquidity issues. Personal finance goes the same way. Now, um, let's not forget about Three Arrow Capital. They filed for bankruptcy. You had Voyager and Lenders, uh, Celsius and BlockFi, FTX, uh, Cineworld, Bed Bath & Beyond, Party City, Rite Aid as of October 2023. That was just two months ago. So the list goes on and on and on. Not to mention other very well-known companies to go bankrupt this year with more than $1 billion in assets, including uh, trucking giant Yellow Corporation. Guys, I mean, if, if you've ever shopped in a Walmart or a Costco or Target, like, I mean, like really any company for the most part is depending upon trucking in order to get their products in their stores. Yellow Corporation filed for bankruptcy and we called it. Well, uh, those who were prepared, we saw this coming down the pipeline and truckers are getting destroyed. I literally had a conversation with a trucker uh, just yesterday and he was talking about how the uh, cost the amounts that they were paying per load is very, very, uh, it's it's a long way away from what it used to be, say, two years ago. Truckers are getting destroyed. Owner-operator truckers, a lot of them are going under. Their overhead is not, their their overhead is, is uh, too great to allow them to even take certain loads. In fact, many times these truckers, these owner-operators, the loads that they're being offered in order to transport goods from one place to another will actually cost them more money to move them. Um, and so, it, like, uh, in other words, accepting certain loads would actually cost them or make them lose money. If it costs you 
let's just say a truck moving um, goods, maybe 500 miles. Let's just say it costs the, the trucker between the, the truckers average cost of maintenance, insurance, uh, obviously uh, motor vehicle and truckers insurance is going up. Uh, maintenance, fuel costs, gas, diesel, all of these expenses are going up. Repair, maintenance costs, the cost of parts are going up. So as all of these costs are going up, it may cost a trucker, say, I don't know, $500 to move products from uh, one point A from point A to point B. But if they're being paid, I don't know, $600 for this transport, if this trucker takes the job, at, at the most, they're making 100 bucks. And that's assuming that something very unexpected doesn't happen. Meaning like, you know, what if the what if what if the trucker has a blowout? If a if a truck has a blowout, like a tire explodes or go, goes flat, one of those tires, according to my source, one trucker tire could be like $500. And it may even be even more if this blowout happens to take place on the side of a road because now it's an emergency call and it could be upwards of twelve hundred dollars just to get that flat replaced um yeah so it's a pretty uh pretty dire situation and more and more of these owner operator trucker businesses are just simply filing for bankruptcy and they're going on under and the thing is is many of these companies uh they realize that these cyclical these cycles exist but if they don't have the liquidity to basically survive the difficult times they're not going to be able to make it through to the other side and they'll literally be forced into a corner with no additional moves to be made uh on this game of chess and they'll be forced into bankruptcy let's not forget about regional sports television um network bally sports operator diamond sports group uh april they filed bankruptcy um and uh they placed the broadcast. They placed the broadcast rights of 42 MLB, NL, NBA, and NHL teams into jeopardy. Then, of course, we can't forget about Smile Direct Club. Their market capitalization shrank from almost nine billion dollars in 2019 during their initial public offering uh, to down to 160 million dollars before filing for bankruptcy just last month. Guys, guys, the big number. 516. That is exactly how many U.S. corporations filed for bankruptcy during 2023's first nine months. This is this is some very scary, concerning statistics here, guys. And more than 60% of these, more than 60% over the same stretch from 2021 to 2022. Um, th this is wild. And so again, liquidity is the name of the game. Over $770 billion of investment grade bonds mature in 2024 with over $900 billion um, worth with over $900 billion in 2025. So if you see here, look at the patterns here. The balloon is getting bigger. The economy is ending, at least the economy that we used to know. And companies may be forced to refinance earlier than planned due to the risk of defaults and difficulties in refinancing in 2025. Now, of course, Fed Chair Jerome Powell recently came out during the last FOMC meeting indicating that they're having no plans on raising interest rates. In fact, we may possibly see interest rate cuts going into 2024. Problem is, if we don't see those cuts, we will likely see even more corporate bankruptcies in 2024, especially as uh, this corporate debt needs to be refinanced. It needs to be restructured. And uh, there is a significant amount of commercial real estate that is actually up for uh, refinancing as well. And this could very well force a lot more companies in different sectors uh, into bankruptcy. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see how this play, plays out, guys. Debt-laden companies across Europe, Middle East, and Africa may face a $500 billion refinancing scramble in the first half of 2024. So... Uh, guys, the trend to, you know, for people to accumulate more debt, including student loans, credit card debt from a consumer standpoint, it is expected to continue even after the holiday season. So, you know, if you don't have a side hustle, if you don't have a small business, I'd strongly be thinking about getting those set up here, guys, because let's be honest with you, rates are raises and 
uh, cost of living increases from the typical nine to five job generally doesn't cut it. But with a lot of these different AI tools and programs out here, uh, you can make you can definitely create a nice profitable business even from the comfort of your own home uh, and offering the services to other businesses that are struggling who are not yet implementing AI into their businesses. Uh, if you can save a company money, you can literally charge them the difference of, you know, you can charge them a percentage of the amount of money that you've saved. And this is definitely something that I would be looking at. I mean, heck, you can even start a YouTube channel. Um, if you guys are interested in learning more about how to start your own YouTube channel, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description down below this video. If you're interested in checking that out, it'll be down there for you. If you appreciate the content, the updates, definitely hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.